Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a supernatural horror film, Sick Nurses. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The film begins with a flirtatious doctor and his resident nurses clean up a fresh corpse of a woman in a rundown suburban hospital in Bangkok. While the ladies are busy, the doctor calls a client to sell the woman's body on the black market. The client will not take the corpse for another seven days, so they need to keep it for a while. They wrap her in a black plastic garbage bag and put her in the doctor's car trunk where she will be kept in dry ice until the client buys her. Video clips show that the dead woman is actually one of the nurses, Tawan, but for an unexplainable reason, they kill her. A flashback shows that Tawan is in a relationship with the doctor and she wants to get married to him. However, the doctor is attracted to Tawan's sister, Nook, who is also one of the resident nurses. Fast forward to seven days later, two of the resident nurses, Ms. Materialistic and Ms. Bully, make fun of each other. But before it escalates, Yim, the strict one, stops them by slapping Ms. Materialistic in the face. Pissed off, Ms. Materialistic wanders around the rundown hospital with a book and handbag on her head, walking like a model. Tired of that, Ms. Materialistic cuts off jewelry pieces from a magazine and puts them around her neck and wrist and on her ears, pretending to be some kind of a rich woman. She fixes her uniform into a more seductive one, revealing her brassiere and some cleavage. She then walks like a fashionista with her fake jewelry pieces while holding her handbag. She uses the windows as mirrors and posts in front of it. But then, she notices the huge red lipstick mark on her cheek where Gim slapped her a while ago. Ms. Materialistic tries to erase it when a mysterious black hand comes out from nowhere and touches her face. Ms. Materialistic frees herself, accidentally falling to the ground from shock and fear. She crawls backward and lets out continuous heavy breathing and moans of fear as someone comes out of her handbag and crawls toward her. Fortunately, she touches the scissors she used, so she takes them. But when she turns around, there is no one. Ms. Materialistic immediately runs away, not noticing that she passed by Nook. However, the ghost of Tawan still catches up to her and haunts her. Fifteen minutes earlier, before Tawan scares Ms. Materialistic, Yim transfers to another room because the twins, Orn and her sister, distract her from exercise with their childishness. She does yoga poses while listening to music when Tawan uses her ghostly powers and be a poltergeist to harm Yim. Fortunately, Yim frees her leg from Tawan's grip before she loses balance and falls to the ground face first. Yim dismisses it as a skeptic and instead cleans herself in the shower. After her shower, Yim marks her body as she is still not satisfied. She wants it to be the perfect ratio, so she takes an arm barbell to slim it when she feels a hand caressing her hair. Yim looks around as she realizes that she is all alone in that room. She lets go of the barbell as she finds Tawan in front of her, but the barbell remains in the air as Tawan holds it. Yim backs away and dodges the barbell as Tawan throws it at her. Yim then sees Tawan on the ceiling staring at her as she wraps her hair around Yim's body. Tawan covers everything with her hair, lifts Yim from the ground, and lets her hang without air. Meanwhile, Ms. Bully enters a room in the rundown hospital, which has become her personal space. Ms. Bully makes a weird beauty treatment, combining tomatoes, egg, and a cosmetic product, and puts it on her face. However, she drinks the liquid when she finds circles under her eyes. She endures its weird and dangerous taste for the sake of beauty, but her body cannot tolerate it. So she has no choice but to vomit everything, even the food she ate that day. She vomits in a Ziploc bag and is satisfied when she weighs the amount of food she vomits. It turns out that she eats everything that she wants and makes herself vomit at the end of the day, so she can keep her figure that way. After that, she goes to the bathroom and brushes her teeth when she sees Tawan climbing up to the ceiling behind her. Ms. Bully turns around, but Tawan suddenly disappears. As Ms. Bully returns to facing the mirror, Tawan appears in front of her and forces her to forcefully brush her teeth so that it bleeds. Ms. Bully manages to free herself and runs away from her, but Tawan uses her ghostly powers again. She controls Ms. Bully's right hand, which has now turned black, and makes her hurt herself by gripping her hair so hard and other stuff. On the other hand, Nook leaves the twin and goes to the bathroom, where she discovers that she is pregnant upon taking a pregnancy test. This makes her so happy that she imagines herself wearing a wedding dress while waiting for her husband, the doctor. After that, she goes out only to find the twin's hands black and stuck to the table. They ask for her help, but Nook leaves in panic upon seeing Tawan sitting on the couch. With just one move of her hand, the twin's head slams on the table, causing it to break. This is when Nook sees Ms. Materialistic running away, so she runs after her, but ends up in the morgue. This is where a flashback plays. Days ago, Tawan hides underneath the white cloth and pretends to be a corpse to surprise and scare the doctor. 
However, she is the one who discovers a surprise. She remains hidden and cries in silence as she watches her sister and boyfriend cheating on her. She waits for them to finish before she confronts Nook for betraying her. She pulls her hair and repeatedly slaps her. But Nook rebuts her insults. She has the guts to be brave, considering she slept with her sister's boyfriend. The nurses and the doctor hear their argument. But instead of defending and protecting Tawan, they favor Nook. Back to the present, Nook removes the white cloth, revealing Tawan crying. Nook backs away from shock and fear when her phone rings. Nook takes the call even though Tawan suddenly disappears from the metal bed. The caller is the doctor, and he notices the panic in Nook's voice. But then, he calms down when he hears that she has a surprise for him. It turns out that Tawan has controlled Nook. But fortunately, she manages to free herself. So she runs away from the morgue before Tawan can harm her again. Meanwhile, the twins accidentally part ways when Orn gets inside the elevator without her sister. Orn immediately calls her sister, who ends up in the X-ray room, which luckily has live footage of the rundown hospital. The twin sees Tawan behind her sister, but Orn cannot see her. The twin tries to warn her, but they lose signal. When Orn tries to leave the elevator, it's too late. Tawan stops her and slams her into the elevator glass wall, causing her to lose consciousness. The twin is speechless, as she sees her friends getting attacked by Tawan all at once. Tawan suffocates Ms. Materialistic with a plastic bag over her head and sews her head and neck into the handbag. Yim manages to breathe when she parts Tawan's hair over her face, using her juicy tongue. Tawan lets her go, only to hang her upside down, and drop her to the fish tank, drowning her to death. After her, Tawan moves on to Ms. Bully, whose right hand is still controlled by her. She forces her to eat food from the trash, shoves her face into the ashtray, and makes her drink all the water from the water dispenser. Ms. Materialistic appears running, accidentally knocking over Ms. Bully and pushing her to the specimen room. Ms. Bully opens the door, but a wall blocks the doorway, trapping her inside the room. Tawan controls her hands and forces numerous blades into her mouth. Ms. Bully falls to the ground as she rises, trying to free herself from the torture. However, her blood soon taints the floor, and before she knows it, Tawan has detached her jaw from her face. Her smelly tongue falls onto the ground, and she can only heave, as her cat eats her flesh. But Tawan is far from being done to her. Tawan uses a dead baby and shoves it into Ms. Bully's open jaw, permanently blocking her airway and killing her. After witnessing that, the twin calls her sister, who wakes up from the sound of her phone ringing. She looks from her phone, but soon realizes that it is inside her cheek. Tawan uses her powers and slams Orn into the glass wall, causing her to vomit blood with pieces of her broken phone. Orn endures the pain and silently leaves the elevator. But Tawan will not let her go that easy. She puts Orn inside a cabinet enough to be a coffin. The footage suddenly turns static, and when it returns, the twin finds Orn behind her while Tawan watches them. Tawan controls Orn's hands and forces her to inject a drug into her sister. After that, she forces the two sisters to hold both ends of a metal saw, leaving them with no choice but to saw the twins' thighs. Orn screams in fear and disgust as her sister's blood splatters all over her, while the twin laughs because of the drug. At that same time, Nook runs into Ms. Materialistic, whom she helps by removing the stitches around her neck. Ms. Materialistic tries to stop her, but Nook continues to take the thread. And before she knows it, Nook accidentally decapitates Ms. Materialistic. Nook immediately leaves the decapitated Ms. Materialistic to hide from Tawan. However, she runs into numerous apparitions of nurses, with black masks over their heads that Tawan created. Nook gets cornered by them, but she will not be defeated. She uses the scissors to remove the stitches on Ms. Materialistic's head and neck, and stabs the apparitions. Meanwhile, Orn has mutilated her twin sister, creating a literal bloodbath with her blood. Orn cries, as she says loudly that they did not do anything to Tawan. A flashback reveals that she was the one who helped the other nurses kill Tawan, while her twin sister cries in Nook's arms as she did not want to be involved. Orn's twin sister is the one who is innocent, but Tawan used her to mutilate Orn's twin sister. On the other hand, the doctor reminisces about his last memory with his true lover, a later boy who wants to marry him. However, the doctor does not want to be married to a guy. He needs to be married to a woman. Back to Nook, she manages to defeat all the apparitions and get out of the rundown hospital. But Tawan still haunts her. Tawan repeatedly slaps her and kicks her stomach, causing her to bleed in between her legs. Nook pleads Tawan to free her and her unborn child. But Tawan is merciless, so she removes a piece of the pole from the ground and runs toward Tawan to stab her. However, Tawan turns the table and makes Nook stabs herself. The wound is not too deep that the pole plunges into her stomach, but it is enough to create pain to Nook and her unborn child. Because of that, she lets out a loud scream. As the clock hits midnight, 
Talon suddenly weakens, like her evilness is fading off. Nook uses this opportunity and stabs Talon, forgetting that her sister is already dead. Talon laughs at Nook's foolishness and desperate attempt to kill her, but she's already a ghost. Talon pins her to the ground and hurts her by stepping onto her face while still wearing heels. After that, Talon removes the cross metal signage of the hospital to kill Nook. Another flashback plays, revealing that the doctor flirted with all of them. He is the one who gave the hand back to Ms. Materialistic and made Yim feel confident about her body. At that same time, the doctor drags Talon's corpse to the rundown hospital to give her to the client. However, Talon is now wearing a customized dress, and she greets him. She walks toward him, blood starting to drip from her body, as the scene reveals Talon's true identity. She is actually the later boy, the doctor's former lover, who had undergone a sex change, so the doctor can finally marry him. However, the doctor still does not want to marry him, despite all the sacrifices he made. Nook suddenly appears in the scene, as she survives Talon's attempt to kill her. She pours all the gasoline on Talon's corpse, and puts her on fire. Another flashback reveals that Nook willingly became Talon's murderer, because she loves the doctor too much. After watching her body burn, the doctor drags Nook away from there, and walks out of the hospital. However, Nook suddenly feels excruciating pain in her stomach, and the doctor can only watch in shock, as Talon kills her sister by being born as a fat baby through her. The film ends with Talon crawling towards the doctor, and creepily muttering that he has to marry her. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.